Hi everybody, I'm Gus Gordon with the Hoagland Center for the Arts, and here's what's playing this weekend at the Hoagland. We have the Springfield Theater Center production of the musical adventures of Flat Stanley Jr. Joining me right now to talk about it is the director of the show, Cynthia Higginson. Cynthia, tell us about Flat Stanley Jr. Okay, um, the Musical Adventures of Flat Stanley Jr. is a musical, um, and we have a cast of about 29 kids, boys and girls, um, ranging from five and a half to uh, 15. Wow. And uh, about a third of our cast are brand new to the stage, and Excellent. so that's a very exciting uh, thing for us. Um, essentially, the story is um, a average 11 year old boy mm -hmm. who um, dreams of adventure. And one night he has a sleepover and um, there's a shooting star. And he makes a wish that he can do amazing things and go on amazing adventures. And he goes to sleep okay. and his bulletin board comes to life. And it's uh -huh. a magical <laughs> bulletin board that's coming to uh, grant his wish. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the bulletin board has a different way of granting his wish than he might have liked okay. and um, ends up falling on him and flattening him. Um, he is pretty upset about it. The, his parents so. sure, <laughs> um, take him to the doctor to find out what um, they can do about it and the doctor declares that he's flat. And um, he uh, goes off, he gets bullied by some kids, ends up right. in a tree. And then his um, good friend, Mrs. Cartero, um, the male lady who is throughout the entire show, um, comes upon him and cheers him up and says, Stanley, you're postal perfect. You can go anywhere you want to. All we have sure. to do is stick you in an envelope and, and mail you off. And he ends up going to um, several different places and having great adventures. Like the real flat Stanley, the, the little, um, yes. the little I, what would you call it? Is it a doll? Is it um... Um, Well, the, the whole, um, the Musical Adventures is based off of a book series. Okay. Um, and where that actually essentially happens. And I mean, the dolls, I think, just kind of came from that. Okay. And many, many schools have developed curriculum um, around the musical, or around the flat Stanley. Right. And where they um, have their own kids create their own flat me's and they send them off to friends and family across the world and get pictures taken and, and are able to learn about the, their world in that way. That's excellent. Now tell us about the cast. That's exciting to have so many new people and so many young people. Yes, it definitely is. Um, we had probably about 67, 70 kids try out back in December. Wow. Yes, and um, me as a new director, this is my first time right. and it was a really rough day for me. Um, but. It's just amazing the talent level of the children that we have here in Springfield. Right. And we were super impressed and we were able to cast 29 children. And um, like I said, it ranges from five and a half to 15. Um, several of them have been on SEC Muni tip shows. Right. Um, but like I said, I would say at least a third of them are brand new. And I couldn't have asked for a better cast. Are they having a blast? They are having a blast, definitely. Excellent. Yes. Well, let's take a look at a clip from the show.
The musical Adventures of Flat Stanley plays at the Hoagland Center for the Arts this Friday and Saturday at 7 o'clock and Sunday at 2, and then the following weekend, Friday and Saturday at 7 and Sunday at 2 o'clock. This is a wonderful show by the Springfield Theater Center, made especially for young people by young people. So bring your kids and have a great time. You can get tickets by coming down to the Hoagland Center at 420 South 6th Street, calling us on the phone at 523-2787, or getting online at hcfta.org. That's the Springfield Theater Center production of the musical adventures of Flat Stanley Jr. This weekend and next at the Hoagland Center for the Arts.